Climate change in Kenya is increasingly impacting the lives of Kenyan citizens and the environment. Climate change has led to more frequent extreme weather events like drought, which lasts longer than usual, irregular and predictable rainfall, flooding, and increasing temperature. Human social economic activities such as deforestation, poor farming patterns, destruction of water catchment areas, and emission of greenhouse gases are key contributors to climate change. Kenya's climate has changed. The country has experienced a general warming trend, with the rising temperature expected to continue. Rainfall patterns have changed, with the long rainy season becoming shorter and dry. And in today's episode of the Unsung Heroes, we feature the Hatua youth group who have embraced the climate change, and this is their story. The journey that only started as a joke with a group of youth gathered together. So we had a few heads, we had a few heads, we had a few spread rumors, spreading rumors, we had a few come and we join. And we had an initiative to get rid of it. Hatua Youth Group started with, a, with an initiative of sweeping the market center. They will plan themselves every Saturday morning and head to the market centers in Kasabuni area to sweep, then collect 20 shillings from the traders around. Tulianzia uko hapo inaitwaje hapo kwa estate tulikuwa tunafanya cleaning cleaning gani aswa general cleaning kufagia mta mhm mm eh yeah. Hatua Youth Group was an initiative started with the youths from Babadogo ward in Ruaraka constituency. The youths were from Kariadudu, Dandora and Kasabuni, but eventually a group with over 30 people reduced to only having wazaliwa wa kasabuni. To be included um, Tajirani Kariadudu. No, no. Um, Tukianza ndio tulikuwa wengi sana. Mm. Na unajua pia kuweka mtu kutoka asubuhi hadi jioni hapa. Mm. Na anakitoa kukula pia unajua ni ngumu. Mm. Sasa kuna wenye walikuwa tu wanachoka juu. Yeye kama kuna. Wengi wetu hatuna job. Mm. Yeah. Sly Juma, a member of the Hatua Youth Group, gives an insight of how the group was a female dominated area before things changed. Yanza tulikuwa 30. Tulikuwa men walikuwa 14. Tulianza na mademu wengi na wamama. Wamama si tulikuwa 16. But with the time, mm -hmm. men wakatu wakatu overpower. Juna pata watu wengi walikuwa hapa ni masingo Masingo mother, mm -hmm. sayo menda kutafuta. Mama Zaina Bawar, a mother and also a businesswoman and also a member of the group, gives us an highlight of the journey. Hata vijana wali ukuwa, wana maintain, kufanya usafi hii area. Mm -hmm. Hata sayo kuna uizi ya hapa sana kaa kitambu, mm -hmm. tuko sawa sana juwa vijana. Kitu mweni motivate mm -hmm. ni watu tuko nao, mm -hmm. ni watu pia niseme wakoaje ni watu wanakuparet mm -hmm. timu wa kimekuwa sawa mm -hmm. alafu tena ni unaona security hapa since i i place yanze mm -hmm. i place ilikuwa pale ipitiki mm -hmm. kuna tunaita salga kipita mm -hmm. une, kibati unaweza pita mko sekupita but since group yanze mm -hmm. imekuwa ni mali unaweza kuja upite juu hapa ndio unapita ukienda coach eh Sasa vitu kama hizo, umejua the moment tulianza, watu wakaanza kuona, tu changes kidogo kidogo. Mm -hmm. Sasa ukisha anza kuona changes changes, tukaanza ku, hata, hata goals, ama dreams, zikaanza ku expand. Mm -hmm. Sasa tukakuwa na a broader way ya kuangalia hii group. Mm -hmm. Sasa hiyo ni mifanya, hata tukayapa sana, juu naona, eh, kumbe tuneza fanya hii, tuneza fanya hii, na hiyo ndo ina to keep moving. Hatua youth group engaged themselves in different environmental activities such as cleaning the Nairobi River that passes through the Kariadudu Bridge, Korogosho, Dandora area, slashing grass, collecting garbage, 
an area that was once isolated, an area that was known for crime, the Kasabuni Korogosho area was impassable. But because of the Atua youth group, the area is now an area that people can now move in and out freely without any worry. Ngwetu ndio bado tulikuwa tunaribu hiyo mta hii mta. Ukiona simu unajichukulia unaigeuza yako unaona? Nikakuwa at least ndio community kubaliana na sisi tumeacha mambo mingi. Tulifikiria tunaweza watengenezea park. Hakuna kitu kingine tuliona tunaweza wapatia pua. Na tukachochana tukatengeneza park. Na na kitu inaendelea. Hii area ilikuwa ni crime zone na bado ilikuwa ni dump site. Yeah, venye unaweza pale kwile bridge hiyo ina crossika eh jua sel kwa kuna watu hiyo wanapita wakienda chuo hizo cases za crimes zilikuwa hapo eh na most hiyo sel kwa na do hizi crimes ni kwa si wa huku na na neighbors wetu so imekuwa ni jani refu eh maboyo wetu wengine pia wamekuwa kimado jua hizi vitu dogo dogo hizi petty crimes eh so wenye tuliona maboyo wetu pia na madoa na ile form ya kuform to form eh yeah. e, wasio wakaona ni poa tukuje juu hii form hizi ma groups zilikuwa zishaanza ku kukaa mtu kaona tukae chini mm -hmm. e, tunaweza jenga group tukamake kasabuni a better place mm -hmm. the group also involves themselves in planting vegetables with the, which they sell to people in the community another activity involved is the collection of garbage plastic bottle which they later sell and is recycled like any other group, the journey has not been smooth. They have their challenges. Hii mtu ikiwa chafu. Mhm. Hata kuyosha tunashanga bila gambut. Tools pia ni yao. Hao watutua mtaa. Mtu anaamua na tuletea kijiko moja rek. Gambut tunajinunulia pia saa zingine. Unaona? Na pia tumenini due to climate change sana sana tunapenda shughuli na miti yeah. tree planting mm -hmm. at least waje so climate in observa no ma kama hiyo bado mtu anaweza pata malenza tulia in an area where security has been a key issue things have drastically changed as the community and the group now relate well kurelate na ase hapa hapa venye tuko sisi wase tunajuana hii mtaa tumegrow hivi venye tuko tukiwa wadogo tulikuwa tu tunacheza ball kimoja unaona mm -hmm. so ile through ku grow tunajuana na juu ya natoka base fulani kwa natoka base fulani so ile kukaa kuweka heads pamoja mm -hmm. inakuwa gani tunajuana alafu kitu hiko pia ina to drive ni respect mm -hmm. eh, juu tuna rules zetu pia mm -hmm. zina to guide community now kwa sasa hii tunasikiza na vizuri sana hata mm -hmm. tukiwa na itaji mhm yes you to know so we meet wana tupatia support tu ile kidogo inapatikana mhm na kasa hii tuna plan at first anniversary yetu ni tuko ta plan ni january ju ili nimekuwa na mambo mengi eh sasa hata kuna wenye wameamua ku support with last year devolution conference focusing on the climate change and the theme being multi-level governance for climate action, in particular subnational mobilization in unlocking the full potential of climate action during and after pandemics. The focus on climate action was necessitated by adverse impact of climate change in social economic development in Kenya. And with the change, the youth of the Atua Youth Group Foundation have embraced the change and decided to work for with it. Kasabuni Park ni community ni a community. Uh -huh. uh, so in kitu msiyota ni zakam uh -huh. na tuliko tuna plan like in future to come. Uh -huh. uh, Apa uh -huh. wasi one zakam for photo shoot. Uh -huh. Wasi one zakam like hizo ma Eo tunaweza make places like mtu anaweza kuja hani mo nini ikuwe ni a better place na bado tunataka tu ilaje and uh, the other side okay. uh, ni venye tu ndio tumeanza okay. tunakonga na kaeko school ya watoto tutawafundisha anga nasari kupanda miti umuhimu wa kupanda miti watoto eh hey, watoto okay. uh, mm. na pia hata community kuna watu pia ukam umuhimu wa kupanda miti mm -hmm. years from now tutakuwa tumemeka big move 
jo utapata this place say itakuwa to the same mm. tutakuwa tume do a lot mm-hmm. kama ni ku plant trees kama ni ku do vitu zingine tutakuwa tume plant trees na hata hizi trees zitakuwa zime grow hata hizo ma nini kama hizi maembe maembe zitakuwa zime eh, itakuwa ni a big move na jo atakuwa somewhere with last year devolution conference focusing on the climate change and the theme being multi-level governance for climate action in particular subnational mobilization in unlocking the full potential of climate action during and after pandemics the focus on climate action was necessitated by adverse impacts of climate change in social economic development in Kenya and with the change the youth of the Atua Youth Group Foundation pressed the change and decided to work with it. For Unsung Heroes series, this is Valentine of the Ambo. Mm-hmm.